Good morning ladies and welcome to our second attempt at Sunday styling this week. Now I have my phone. Before we go on any further, can I please say a huge thank you to the fabulous staff at Waitrose who have been ringing this phone whilst I run round the shop trying to hear it and a lovely security guard heard it in a trolley the other end of the building. So I'm now reunited with my phone, which works with the Wi-Fi. So if you can't hear it, I think we're gonna have to assume that the problem is your end. So, good morning again, ladies, and welcome to Sunday Styling. I am going to start right from the beginning, just in case you really couldn't hear anything that I was saying at 10 o'clock. And I need my specs to read through it. So before we start, welcome to Artichoke. We have a fabulous shop in Swatham. We also have a fabulous shop online, which is slightly understocked at the moment because this is a rather peculiar season. And um, instead of me fighting off deliveries in July, everybody is uh, struggling to deliver to me in the middle of August. So, what we do each season is put together a coordinated, edited collection for you so that we take the stress out of shopping. As always, say hello to each other. I know there's a big crew of you that watch every week now. Um, Paddy is watching and listening as we go through so he will answer any questions that you have and keep pushing that love button because they love it in Google land. If you have a friend that you think might be interested in artichoke, in the styling sessions, in the meet the artichoke girl sessions that we do, please feel free to share this video with them. You know, we love everybody to get involved and make it their own morning as well. So, as I said about 20 minutes ago, every season at one of the big trade fairs that we all attend, they take us through the trend forecast for the season that we are buying for. Um, and although uh, we are not an uber on trend boutique, it is something that I take incredibly seriously because it helps keep my ideas fresh and also it helps the shop slightly change its look each season. Now obviously we don't adopt every trend and I am going to show you one or two that we haven't bothered with this season. But I'm also going to show you several that we have looked at, but pared down a lot so that you can wear them on the streets of rural England as rather than the catwalks of London, Paris and Milan. So before we go through the specific colour and shape trends, Whoever is hosting the session always talks to us about the thoughts and the feelings behind the big collections. And I'm going to run through quickly, but what I might do is actually do the clothes at the same time. No, I won't. That'll be too muddly. I'm going to run through quickly the four trends that were foremost in the minds of the designers for this autumn and winter. And remember that when they were showing nobody had heard of COVID-19. However, because the fashion world is always slightly ahead of the rest of us, a lot of the thoughts and feelings that they were putting into this winter's collection, although they weren't particularly relevant to the real world then, the real world has caught up with them. So this is where I put my specs on again. With the world becoming more mindful of consumption and buying items with longevity, uh, fashion is actually catching up with artichoke. This has always been our enduring philosophy. As I said about 20 minutes ago, I have never ever understood why anybody would buy something that they like so little, they only want to wear it a couple of times. And if you leave the human cost 
too throwaway fashion to, to one side, if you just park that for a moment, I just don't understand why you would want to buy that piece, why you would want to put it on your body. So that has always been our enduring philosophy, that you buy pieces that you love and you want to keep for as long as they remain non-threadbare. Now, as we are buying less and investing more in our pieces, although, you know, we're not moving into sackcloth, we are allowed to have a little bit of fun and um, with pieces each that will only last a season, but we'll live in them and love them. But we are buying less and people are always amazed at how small my wardrobe is because I've never bought a lot. And I think my friend Tracy, she's the best one at this. She invests a lot into the pieces that she buys, but she looks stunning always, that's why she sticks to black, and um, you know, she always looks fabulous. Uh, so I'm diverting a bit onto how lovely Tracy looks, and not concentrating on what I should be doing here. So we need to think about investment pieces, ladies. This is the season to invest. And um, as I think I already told you, I bought a beautiful pair of black boots that I was saving up for all last year. And it is my, sh my entire shoe budget for this year as well. So they have cost more than I would normally spend on a pair of boots, but they will look fabulous. They fit me and they will last. Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know which way to look at this, but I have been looking for a camel short coat for about six or seven years and I found that the week after I bought my boots. So that's come into my wardrobe as well, but don't tell my husband, just as well he doesn't watch many of these videos. So an investment piece, ladies, would be something like this handbag. So it's very neutral, it's very classic, it's leather, it will last forever and it is 81 pounds but this is the sort of investment piece that we're talking about something very very neutral with longevity and then pull my specs down the other thing uh, that people are talking about is going back to basics um, and we've really done that this season partially because i was so worried about brexit and the impact that it would have on us if we went to WTO terms, which is a bit boring for you lot, but basically it means everything goes up 20%. Uh, so I was very concerned about that and I really slashed uh, my budget for this summer and for this winter um, and decided to buy more pieces in season as and when I needed them. But the other thing that uh, took me with my idea of back to basics is something that Christine said to me last winter. And she said, Sarah, all people want is nice shirts and crew neck jumpers, and they can't get them anywhere, including here. So Christine, I did listen to you. As you know, we've probably got at least double the number of styles of shirts that we've carried for a long time. And I did look for our basic cotton uh, knitwear range which uh, we haven't got many pieces left of at the moment but we're getting a new, new uh, drop in October and finally we are spending more time at home now having worn tracky bottoms when I was skint I'm not going back there but that doesn't mean that you can't have beautiful pieces that you can wear at home but also that will serve you well when you do venture outside and once COVID is over. So ladies, I hope you can hear me now. I hope you can see yeah. me. I don't think you need to be as loud as you were before. Oh, uh, Paddy's saying he's getting a headache because I'm shouting. Right, so what I'm going to do before we go on to the specific trends for this season is take you through how the overall thought processes are reflected not only this season, but fashion has caught up with our enduring philosophy. So I'm going to show you, as you will know, something that you bought in the spring. And this is part of the buying well philosophy so that it takes you through the seasons. So here is a jumper that you would have bought in the spring. We still have it on the shop floor because it's still going strong. 52 pounds it will go into the sale early next 
week because it's getting to the end of its life so it will have 20% off uh, when we get around to it but if you want to buy it now we'll give you the 20% off you'll remember when we were styling with uh, white jeans in the summer for cooler evenings we put and this is an oversized so this is a size 20 so I would wear this oversized with the white shirt underneath it it worked well in the spring it worked well on cooler days in the summer if we change the jeans from white to stonewash it's going to look so good this autumn particularly on days like uh, this uh, and moving towards the end of the week I mean it's I think it's about 25 today here in uh, Norfolk but I know further north it's slightly cooler when it's about 15 or 16 degrees this is a great outfit um, and that's what it's going to be here in Norfolk later in the week this is another piece that we introduced you to uh, about a month ago the star silky shirt with a little peplum at the back it worked beautifully with white jeans in the summer look how it moves to your stonewash jeans in the autumn so this is about thinking before you buy ladies thinking about how these garments are going to work for you as you move them through the seasons so we've now teamed this starry blouse with a pair of stonewash jeans to take them into autumn and now we're needing a little bit more warmth on these autumn days we've popped one of our grand wee gilets over the top now i'm not going to go into too much detail beyond price really and color availability of these pieces because they form part of our stories and we'll be taking you through those week by week starting with our denim story next week of which these pieces belong so i'm just showing you ladies how with thought you can move pieces through the seasons still wear garments that you love more and more so this is teamed up with the Bromway gilet which will take it into autumn and the gilet is 52 pounds it is online as is the starry shirt which is 66 pounds and then we move the entire ensemble into winter by wearing the starry shirt underneath our bat wing or actually this is a slash neck underneath our slash neck uh, jumper this is our own label one from Italy the one I didn't quite get around to getting the labels done for at 45 pounds so that, ladies, is how you move garments that you love throughout the seasons. It's the longevity bit of this season's thought process. The next bit I'm going to show you is our back to basics. So we have bought some beautiful shirts this season perhaps we should call them essential because there is nothing basic about them i'm just bringing this latest one to, sh to hit the shop floor up to the camera it went online yesterday can you see the stylized pheasants on that paddy it is absolutely beautiful and then can you see the finish on the placket so this is 79 pounds this would look fabulous in the summer with white jeans it looks perfect at the moment with stonewash jeans and then if we just pop your cowboy boots into the mix you've got a perfect perfect autumn look and as the weather gets cooler you just pop your crew neck over the top perhaps with a little bit peeking out at the bottom and then you pop your gilet over it, ladies. So that is the back to basics thought process that I have had. And moving on to comfort. Everything that I'm going to show you now, ladies, 
is comfortable enough to wear at home but actually everything that we sell is comfortable enough to wear at home uh, you just need to um, get, wait a few years before you downgrade it to housework so looking at comfort these have just arrived they are a pull-on moleskin so I'm going to take it right up to camera can you see the belt loops honey in the waistband so you although it's a pull-on because of the belt loops that you can put a belt in so that when this is stretched out you nobody knows that you've got a pull-on trouser they think that you've got a jean so these are super comfortable to sit down in they are from Ascari which is uh, made by Stark so Ascari uh, is owned by Stark so it's a beautiful beautiful quality uh, this is the Pamela it's uh, a very very comfortable fit probably true to size the difference between the stamen pull-ons and the start pull-ons is the start ones are actually true to size you don't go down a size then you just add this beautiful jersey top comfort again from MXO which is 39 pounds you have a fabulous looking outfit which is finished by this super soft coat so coat again we're doing coat again big this season uh, we weren't going to we were going to do ponchos but all the orders were cancelled so we're moving back to coat again this one has a hood and is 66 pounds all these fabrics are soft easy to wear another very very easy to wear outfit and i'm taking this straight up to camera paddy can you see the python print so these are our eye gores we always so have an eyna in this lovely python print very very comfortable and easy to wear and then you team it up with an oversized roll neck jumper again very very soft the uh pull-on trousers are 69 pounds and this um oversized roll neck is 35 so we're getting the soft relaxed feeling but we're not looking like a bag of spanners ladies and then another trend that um is coming through with the loungewear is moving sportswear into everyday wear which we're not going there but the k design dress is an example of how to do this so you saw me wearing it last week ladies it's super comfortable super smart but it has the technology uh, built into the cloth that you don't have to wash it every 35 seconds so that's another way of moving sportswear technology into everyday wear and then being more considerate of the planet because if you wash, it, wash your clothes less often, obviously the planet is slightly happier. So I've just pulled these pieces, ladies, to show you how the major thought trends are working. And this is how I've put together or interpreted the major trends that are through this season. The next uh, bit of our thought process is once we, we talk through the feel, we moved on to the shapes that are going to be dominant this season and the colours that are going to be dominant this season and the influences that have brought these about. So I'm going to grab now a photo that I printed off. There's a lovely influencer on YouTube called Justine Lecomte. She's a designer and she puts together her own trend forecasts as well. So I'm just going to take this up to camera. Can you see the whole thing, Paddy? We're going to... Yeah? Right, so hopefully you can see the whole thing now, ladies. I'm just going to um, show you. I mean, obviously, this is very, very exaggerated because it's for the catwalk. But I want to draw your attention to the big sleeves, the cow neck and red. And here I want to draw your attention to black, to very, very skinny legs here, and to um, the big sleeves again here. 
On this one, I want to draw your attention to the high roll neck and green cord because this is an important trend for this season. And here we go back to the high neck, the pussy bow and red again. So these are all very, very strong trends for this season. However, obviously A, we couldn't afford this, but B, we would look slightly ridiculous wearing it all. So what we do is we interpret this. And this trend is all about historical shapes. So the first bit I'm going to show you is our lovely uh, Waterford trousers, which are a season round trouser. So you bought this to wear in the summer. It's got the frill on it, which reflects the rough. The rough. They are called those, aren't they? And they are red, ladies. Now you've worn these in the summer. Can you actually see them if I put them over the top of my boots pad? Yeah, can you see that? Can you see how fabulous these are going to look with black boots in the winter and a big oversized roll neck jumper. They're going to move through really, really well. And this is one of the reds that is very, very strong for this season. But what I've done with this particular outfit is so that it remains current as far as the weather is concerned now is I've popped it with the James Lakeland top that we showed you last week, which has the sleeve detailing. So here is the detail, I'm gonna bring it right up. Can you actually see that the dots are sheer here? And so this little piece, and also can you see ladies that it goes in and out, and you saw that you had the wasp waists on the garments you saw. This piece is absolutely on trend. It's from James Lakeland and it's 37.50. It's not online yet, it's half price but it will be soon. Our Waterfords remain online and they are £39. So this outfit that you bought, this bit in the summer, you buy this bit now, will keep you on trend because this will look fabulous, actually, with these trousers on Christmas Day. Investment pieces, ladies. Next, before I take you on to the next historical influence, I'm just going to show you a pair of jeans. These are the Body Perfects. They are the not too skinny skinnies for ladies with bottoms and thighs. This is the pair of jeans that you invested in last winter or the winter before or even this summer and you're looking for a way to update your favourite pair of jeans, ladies, without breaking the bank. So without breaking the bank, you can create the historical look with this beautiful paisley top from MXO with the frill around the neck. So you imagine that tucked in, you are looking like a mega babe, ladies. And if you don't do black, we also have it in this lovely red paisley. It's actually a ready brown. This, this chestnut colour we'll move on to with the next influence because it's a very, very strong colour. And if you don't do pattern, you're a bit of a plain Jane like me, you tuck in your white jersey top with the chiffon sleeve detailing. You know, the, 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 you don't have to have a leg of mutton sleeve to have a sleeve detailing. It can be done just by um, changing the cloth. And this brings us on to another trend that's really, really important at the moment, it is texture. There isn't as much pattern around as there has been in previous years. So the interest is caused by texture. We also have that lovely top in navy. So here you can do the monochrome look and we have it in black. I haven't got the black out actually, but it's probably because I just wanted to show you this. Now, this is what I will be wearing. I will be wearing my skinny Angelica's rolled with these black boots that I got from Topshop mm, about three. This is their third winter. Paddy, you were in the second year when I got these, didn't I? From Oxford. So he's now... Yeah, third winter we're going into with these, with the 
the detailing on the side, I love them. This with my fake Chanel belt and I'm rocking and rolling. So this ladies is how I have interpreted the ruffle neck on the uh, historical influences. I couldn't put you in wasted skirts that stick out like that. Those of you with very small waists obviously would look fabulous if you're a size eight. The rest of us would look slightly mad. So you can interpret these looks, ladies, in a very, very classic way. So what we've got here is we've actually got cord trousers in green. Green's a very strong season for this colour. Um, and they've got the zip and the fly. They are from Ascari, which as I've mentioned already, is, is a, a brand owned by Stark. They're 85 pounds. <clears throat> and then you've got this ecru cow neck jumper, which you can wear as a cow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera. Let me move this up a bit. But you can double roll it like this and get the neckline that I drew your attention to on the first picture with the historical influences. So you can have this as a cow or a double roll. I don't know what the term is for the double roll. And then you just finish it off with a little uh, French tuck and your pony skin belt. So this is one of our own label jumpers made in Italy, 45 pounds. So that is how I have interpreted the first strong style influence for this season. I'm now going to move you on to the next one. So I'm just going to get Paddy to tell me whether it's lined up properly. Are we there now, Pad? Back? Yeah, are we there? So this, ladies, is all about colour. Can you see the chestnut colour that I told you that was so strong this season? That's because natural tones are coming back. Black and brown, as I think I mentioned in the, in the summer, is huge this winter. Um, we've bought strongly into it and people are really, really excited about it because the browns are, are, are tones that can be worn by different uh, skin colours so that you don't have to give up just because you've got a cooler rather than a warm skin colour tone. So here we have neutrals. Everybody loves a neutral but it's updated with this flash of chestnut underneath. Here we have leather chestnut and notice the pussy bow here. Here we have the chestnut colour again, but we also have the plaid and the Burberry look. Here we have um, chestnut and black, so this is the black and brown. Here we have green and here we have more plaid. So this is the influence that I saw, ladies. Let me take you through what I bought. So, I bought these because I love them. But they are black and they are brown. And we have them in green as well. They're from Stayman. They're a Peggy, uh, which means they've got a button and a fly. I like the pull-on trousers with Stayman. You do not go down a size in these. These are true to size. And I'm going to bring them to camera just so that you can see the pattern. And we were talking about texture, ladies. These feel like velvet. They are absolutely beautiful. But what I'm going, these are your investment piece. These are going to cost you 79 pounds. And we're going to team them with this top. I'm just pulling it up. Can you see it's doing that uppy downy thing? So you can have it over your bottom, tuck it in the front, it's that very, very fashionable chestnut colour and we finished it off with a little necklace that I've just popped in the sale from uh, Gabby and that is reduced to £15. And the necklace helps us bring our costume jewellery into gold, ladies. And this is why we've been talking about gradually moving from silver to gold with your costume jewellery because it fits so beautifully with the colours that are on trend this season. You'll remember, ladies, that you saw a Fair Isle jumper 
in this colour, it was a tank top wasn't it, in this colourway with these trousers. Well clearly if we put these together we wouldn't look on trend, we would just look bewildered. So although I've taken the influences, I haven't actually faithfully copied it because a beautiful fair isle like this, which is not online but will be soon if we don't sell them all in the shop, has lost its label. Oh no, it hasn't, it is £59. And then what we would do is we would wear them with our black 7 8 jeans and a pair of ankle boots and just look and feel fabulous. But the wide leg trouser is coming through more strongly every season and I just think it's a huge relief just to be able to wear something different. I absolutely adore these. I just can't tell you how much I love them. They are a cropped, they're not particularly wide, but they're not skinny. However, if you have 25 inch legs, they are full length. So cracking trousers for you if you've only got 25 inch legs. They're a pull on, they're from Stamen. I haven't tried them on yet, so I'm not sure about the sizing. And they have the belt loops. So we would definitely follow this seven eight slightly wider leg trend, but I would team it then with this beautiful neutral white shirt that you've been wearing with your jeans. And then I would finish it with one of our cotagons, again in this gorgeous chocolate brown. And then I did have a necklace, but that seems to have gone AWOL. Can't find my necklace. Oh, it's underneath here. Put that over my arm. You now have super soft, super comfortable, super smart ladies. Beautiful, beautiful outfit. And then if you're feeling extremely, extremely adventurous, you just get a long scarf and tie your pussy bow bow, which you saw ladies was a very, very strong trend. You can't get more Mrs. Thatcher than that especially when I get the handbag. <laughs> so we're going back, ladies, in time. Fashion is always influenced by the past. However current they think they are, it is always about the past. Um, another very classic, I talked about wearing shades of neutral. So these are the moleskin in a beautiful neutral taupe and are a jerkin, we're calling this. This is roll neck and then the sleeve is here. So it's a variation on a poncho. It covers a multitude of sins, looks fab with narrow trousers, is a classic piece. But in the same way that they updated the neutrals um, in the trend forecast, we've updated it by putting this very current chestnut colour underneath. So that's the, the, the uh, trend uh, forecast as far as the co uh, colour is concerned for black and brown. Green has not been around forever. In fact, we stopped stocking it because people wouldn't wear it because it was unlucky. But hopefully we've moved on from that. I'm just going to move my shirt up a bit. Um, but we have bought green this season. We'll talk about the trousers that I'm wearing in a minute. I love them. They're from Stayman. You do go down a size. Um, and uh, they are £120. They're green. I'm going to bring this to camera. Actually, I should have brought those to camera. Beautiful, beautiful print in green. These are the same as the brown ones, so they are a Peggy and they are £79. Stay at your own size. This lovely, lovely leaf t shirt, again in the green, is. Not online yet, but will be soon. The Peggy's and these trousers are online. 
this is 39 pounds and we have more green which is this lovely MXO zip jumper which is not online which is 48 pounds so we're doing a lot of green this season uh, I'm going to take these back up to camera it looks as though these are flocked we're going back to texture it's not can you see the pattern pad this isn't actually a flock it's actually a print but you can see the beautiful sports luck stripe in velvet down the side i think these are 29 inches long they are just short of 29 inches long because what i've done and i don't know if you can see so that you can see my boots i put one roll on them now ideally i would be wearing them let me find my other style influence with my leather jacket from pomodoro can you see that penny my leather jacket from pomodoro this is uh, yves saint laurent looks fab but because it's 25 degrees outside i've actually teamed it up with this shirt which again i wore as a jacket over the dress last week because it's so structural so this is a piece that will take you throughout the entire year and then i've just got a little sale necklace in the neckline from dante so if we just take you back quickly to trends that we ignore because i forgot about this one so can i take this forward so here we have overalls or a jumpsuit we don't buy jumpsuits because all our crotches are in different places so we just ignore that it's too complicated uh, but it is a very very strong trend uh, we are ignoring the pantomime boots because again it's just something that's very very specific it's something you love or you you loathe and it's just a bit too on trend for us this season if this sees if this trend stays around then we might invest in them later we do not do white in winter fringing is very very strong we haven't done that because it is too season specific and I might be wrong about this we might have fringing in three years time but I very much doubt it and the other thing is all the fringes come off and everybody moans about it so we're ignoring fringing and we're ignoring this one because I couldn't get my head around it. So we don't stick slavishly, ladies. Um, I'm going to take you to two of the Yves Saint Laurent uh, trends that we have really, really bought into this season. So I'm going to take you up close. Can you see that pad? Obviously, we don't go braless. But if you have a look, she has a sheer top. The detailing is in the neckline. She's actually got a scarf wrapped around it. She has her culottes on and it's belted with a jacket. This is not going to suit our lifestyle, ladies, but it's a look that I loved, which is why we bought so heavily into, can't find the top now, if it's underneath here, which is why we bought so heavily not in a financial way, but you know, loved when I say bought into, I loved this particular look. And it is why increasingly we are having more and more wide legged, shorter items in the shop. I've shown you already the one with the biker jacket, which I'm just going to hold up again. You'll see that these are very skinny. Now, if I go right up close, can you see the detailing on these shoes? Can you see that? I bought a pair of shoes like this from Clark's about seven years ago with the little lozenges on the front. So I will definitely be wearing these this season. I've got them in leopard skin as well. With the leggings, we don't do leggings, but we have got some faux uh, suede black trousers coming in from James Lakeland, which will be able to wear uh, leather black jackets. 
So we're going to definitely recreate this shot look in the shop, ladies. I'm just rooting through to make sure I haven't missed anything else out. We've talked about red being a strong colour. We've talked about green being a strong colour, which is really important this season. So here we have the little lines going up and down that will work beautifully with the softness of the velvet. And as always, ladies, at Artichoke, we do a pop of colour. So this gorgeous dress is from James Lakeland. It's a midi, it's got the uh, grandad collar with the rolled sleeves, it's heavy viscose. So it will take you through the winter, injecting colour into your life. And James has reduced this from £180 to £81. Unfortunately, we haven't got it in my size. We've got it in 10, 12 and 14. And as you can see, it can be belted at the back. Quickly on to accessories. I mentioned plaid. £20 for a small handbag, £30 for a large handbag is a great way of introducing plaid for one season into your wardrobe. We also have some oversized, they're like an oversized jackety shirty thing with plaid coming in, which we'll be retailing at about £59. Looking back, the classic Chanel handbag. This will look fabulous with any outfit that you have this season and is another historical influence. We showed you this again last week, it is £85. We've already spoken about our investment piece handbag, which as you can see will go so beautifully with the black and the neutrals that are so strong this season, as well as denims and blues. Our sparkly trainers, trainers, sparkle isn't going anywhere. Look how great the sparkle looks as I move it through the items. Not so sure about a patterned pheasant shirt, but do you know what? I think it could, could work if the break was far away enough. And another historical influence, cowboy boots. So ladies, I hope you've enjoyed this. Next week, we are going to be moving on to the stories that we put together each season for you, and that is the denim story. We're picking the denim story because it is the one that's only got six pieces missing, and I'm rather hoping those six pieces will turn up next week. It's a, sh it's a small story, so the video will be short and sweet. If we get more stuff in for grey, then we'll do that as well. The week afterwards, we are still hoping to do our virtual fashion show. It will take place at midday and it will either be in Chris and Sandy's garden or the restaurant at Stratton's, depending on uh, how the weather works out. We are reduced to five models with the new regulations and I'm hoping that Boris isn't going to restrict us even more this week, but unless he puts us into full lockdown, we will be doing a fashion show. In it, we will be showing you everything that we have in the shop almost, but we'll be giving you a really, really good idea of um, the entire shop. It will be the first proper fashion show that we will be doing this year. So Donna and I are really, really looking forward to it. And ladies, if you haven't been to one of our fashion shows, you are in for a treat. We're doing it at midday because we thought it would be a nice opportunity for you all to get together with girlfriends and just have a nice lunch and pretend that you are at a real fashion show, even if you can't be with us in person. Now, because I've lost my phone before we started this, I haven't double checked, but I'm fairly certain that this Thursday <coughs> we are doing Meet the Artichoke Girls with Maria. So if it is this Thursday, that will be at five o'clock. Um, thank you for bearing with us, ladies, through an even more chaotic <laughs> Sunday styling than usual. Um, we are almost ready for winter. If you 
are coming from a distance to the Swatham shop, can I suggest that you come in the next three weeks? Only because we're so uncertain about what's going to happen towards the end of October. So if you fancy a day out with the girls, you need to come sooner rather than later. Obviously, I don't want the shop rammed. Uh, because we can only get four of you in at a time but we always have the market crossed and we always have cocos for you to have a, a cup of tea or some lunch as well and again whilst the weather is good it means you can make a day of it so ladies have a little think about that one don't leave it to the end of October just in case we do go into another semi lockdown because you know you may have lost your chance by then I hope you haven't because we've got the world supply of Christmas goods so we do want you to come back but think about coming in the next three weeks as the weather is changing. I'm really 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 hoping that by the end of this week we will have almost all our garments in. Thank you for watching. As always have a fabulous week and I will catch up with you next Thursday. See you soon.